Hi, hello. Welcome to the Compile Group. Today we understand some of the basic opt R Studio, how to start with R language, so we can perform some of the logical operations. So we're starting with creating vector. Let's start create a vector. X. This is the quotation. So while storing any value inside that, so this is the format for creating a vector. So I'm creating a vector with variable name x. This is quotation mark you see. Inside that vector, I'm storing value 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 and the Then I will hit enter. This is what it's saying that object is not found. This is because <coughs> provide error in that. So if you do like that now, you will get this type of error. So for solving this type of error, you need to do what? Take this one. Again, you found the error. This is, you know what? So you should be very careful while record dialing this one. You cannot have any space while having this vector creation. So there should be no space between it. You have to create like that. I'm creating another vector with variable name y, giving four, or five, no six. No, no. No, wait. So this is another vector. You can see here value with x I have already saved and y already saved that vector. Now you can also calculate even you can calculate the variable size of that vector. So calculating this you need to use that formula length. This is the formula again g at th. Now for the length, you have to give an argument that you want to know the length of x or y. So you can give x right now. You can found the length of x vector is 4. Similarly, this is another thing. So these are for the factors. So right now we are concentrating on the length of the values of the in which we have stored that variable. This is so these are the best so even we can uh, perform operation so perform operation what we can do x plus y fine so what we need to do for that you can see we can define both of length of both of the vectors so vector is something we are giving the value of 1 2 3 4 is some of the variable which is stored in some of the array similarly for the y we have stored these value in some of the array so so by storing this of value in some of the variable we can perform any of the arithmetic operations just like addition subtractions multiplication division or any type of operations very simply so like that first we perform that addition x plus y what is this? This is 6 plus 8, 10, 12. That means 5, 1, 6, 6, 2, 8, 7, 3, and 8, 4 is 10. Similarly, what we can do? Y minus X. What we found that? 5 minus 1, 4, 6 minus 2, 4, 7, 6. This is the operation. So these are the basic mathematic operations. Even we can multiply this vector with some of the constant. So for this, we have to store that constant in some of the variable. Let's say that constant variable is k. So for storing that variable, we need to give that value. Fine. That is given. So if you want to perform that just uh, multiplication operation on x vector. So what we have to do, x multiply. 
sorry k multiply x so found that 2 4 6 8 minus 2 2 into 1 is 2 2 4 6 and 8 that is the actual result now <coughs> now what we can even looking at the list of the object that we have created x variable y variable and other sort of variables so if you want to see the list of that variable we can use the function I'll ice argument found that x k x y variable you have already created even you can found that all the variables in the global environment minus is showing that x a y and these are the values which are storing those variables so these are the functions even you can delete that these all the variables so that you can have more operation on the same variables so for deleting that variable you have to use rm command with giving you want to delete variable x and y right what is this you can find that the all variable clear even you can see here these, they are not appearing in this environment it's fine if for uh, uh, verifying you can use this command also list variable on there is only one variable which is constant k is available all other than k has been deleted as we have used that command rm at x comma y fine so now even you can check the variables which you have deleted by mistake and what things so to get the list of that deleted variable you have to use the command which is rm Excuse me, the LIS list to control and S. So these are simple commands. So this will clear the list of all the variables. Thank you. So for this, uh, for understanding the simple basic automatic operation, creating, uh, uh, storing the value into variable and these are the basic understanding how we start with this R studio so let us revise in a very brief way so what you have done we have created a x variable y variable in which we have stored all the values and you by storing value you can calculate the value a length of, of that vector even you can uh, by storing all the value you can operation operate or apply all the automatic operations as like addition multiplication subtraction by just and giving normal commands that x is the variable of which containing x and then y is the variable which containing this vector value so you can op operational uh, we can use your auth automatic operation directly by using this command and here we understand how to create how to get the list of all the variables and you can clear the list by selecting some of the specific variable and using this command you can clear all the list of all the variables thank you and next tutorial we will learn how to create matrix and operate it in a different way to perform all the specific operation which we do in the mathematics so thanks and subscribe our channel for more video thank you